Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sports Medicine Ultrasound. We're here to do an injection of PRP into a knee joint. Now my patient has some arthritis in her knees and she's not super keen on a replacement for lots of different reasons. She had an amazing response to PRP in the past and we're looking to recreate that today. One of the nice things about ultrasound is I can actually see the contours of the bone in you know, an infinite number of angles. And we were able to identify that on this medial aspect of the patellofemoral joint, there actually appears to be some impingement to some of the bone spurs. So what do we see? We see on the right-hand side of the screen, the patella. On the left-hand side of the screen, the femur. And you can see there's an area where the two bones are coming really close together. And actually, if we scan a little distal, there might actually be even a little osteochondral loose body. And if you rely entirely on x-rays or radiographs, you know, sometimes these osteochondral loose bodies move around. Sometimes they'll be in the Baker cyst. Sometimes the next time you see the patient a year or two later, they'll be in the medial gutter here, sometimes in the lateral gutter. Sometimes they actually get jammed up underneath the patellofemoral joint. Play small of anesthetic. Increase gain. Increase gain. Increase depth. So this is a sneaky little way, if for whatever reason you can't inject the superlateral recess, and if patients do have an effusion in the medial gutter, here is a perfect place to get PRP or any injection into the joint fluid. So small amount of anesthetic. So let the anesthetic kick in for a second. And again, there's some disagreement about anesthetic and PRP. My approach is if my patient wants me to use a bit of anesthetic, absolutely, why wouldn't I do it? There's nothing that I've ever seen that says anesthetics inactivate stem cells or PRP, uh, apart from in a Petri dish. I'll just pull this right leg out. Thank you very much. That's great. Excellent. We can make out the needle coming in from the top left of the screen. And as we inject that, you see it fills up that synovial fluid in that medial gutter. And that's it. So once again, if you're really struggling to do an intraarticular knee injection from the front or the super patellar recess, the patient has fluid in the medial gutter, nice easy way to do a knee injection.